In the Olympics, we once again witness the feats of the world's best female athletes as they share the stage with their male counterparts. But a half century ago, in the world of professional tennis, the playing field was nowhere near level. In 1970, the Pacific Southwest Open announced the men's champion would be awarded $12,500. The women, only $1,500. That same year, nine women chose to take a stand and forever changed sports as we know it. On July 17th, they were honored with induction into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Our Leslie Visser has the story. By the shores of Newport, Rhode Island, the original nine were celebrated at the glorious Vanderbilt Mansion. Indeed, they had come a long way. Back in 1970, they were tired of earning only one-tenth of the prize money the men were earning, and at the same tournaments. The road to equality was long and hard, and for Billie Jean King, the journey began with a crushing realization. There was this moment that I realized I can't play baseball because of my gender. I'm a girl. I can't play baseball. I was, my stomach, and even right now, my stomach remembers that moment, my, my brain, in that how I was so upset that I couldn't have the dream. What were you most focused on? What three things did you want to happen? There were three things. Number one, that any girl in the world, if she's good enough, would have a place to finally compete. Two, to be appreciated for our accomplishments, not only our looks. Three, the most important one, obviously, is to be able to make a living playing our sport and what we love to do, like every, every job. We knew that we were athletes. We knew that our muscles were good, even though most people didn't think women should have muscles. And so the original nine, you know, made a difference as to what we were gonna do and move forward. Was there ever a, a fear that you wouldn't be allowed to play Wimbledon or the Open or the Australian? Definitely a fear. When we decided to go on our own and, uh, you know, we were told you're going to be banned and we were banned. So there were consequences to our decision to go on, out on our own and to, um, you know, start professional tennis. But we couldn't have done it without Gladys Hellman. She was our fearless leader. Gladys, the savvy businesswoman and founder of World Tennis Magazine, was the mother of top 10 player Julie Heldman. In 1970, Gladys advised the women not to boycott the men's tour, but to start one of their own. Heldman knew Joe Coleman, the CEO of Philip Morris. Heldman recruited him and then asked a young player from California, Christy Pigeon, to help out. Gladys recruited me because we had been pals and I was actually going to college at the time and she asked me to come and support the group and she said, Christy, I'd like you to write a letter to Joe. And I knew Joe and Joe was sort of a nice, easygoing, tennis-loving, successful businessman. And I thought, well, how can I make the letter poignant. And of course, this is before computers. So I just sat down, wrote out a letter, and at the end, I signed it, Joe, show us the dough. <laughs> really? And sure enough, he did. When you have Billie Jean as your leader, and Gladys as the organizer, and a fabulous sponsor in Philip Morris, we couldn't go wrong. What was the challenge of being sponsored by a cigarette company? It was a challenge, for sure. That just doesn't go together, cigarettes and athletes. But it was the women's movement, so we really focused on that. Um, you know, women's line of cigarettes was brand new. We love their logo, their Ginny, and then you've come a long ways, baby. So there was a lot to play off of with the women's focus. Yes, it was a cigarette company, and we went to bed with the devil, and the devil saved us. It was a major undertaking. The players were running both on and off the court, doing promotions, visiting hospitals, and helping to fill the stands. In the early stages, we gave tickets away, so we had to visit, you know, grocery stores, come watch us play. Who are you? We're, we're Virginia Slams, and we're tennis players, so it was a lot. You went to grocery stores in the beginning to say, you oh. want to come see us play? Oh, of course we did. We used to stop cars out in the street. I remember Chattanooga, hey, squeeze me, squeeze me. You know, like the, 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 the station wagons coming with, the, we can see station wagons with kids in it. That means we can fill eight seats instead of two. Oh, hi, squeeze me. 
Nobody knew in this new world of money, of open tennis, that people would pay at the gate. But we believed it, and we worked for it. Ladies and gentlemen, the original nine. We were misfits, troublemakers, rebels. But we were just crazy enough to change the world of tennis, and sure enough, we changed it. And today's women's professional tennis players on the WTA tour are living our dream. Every woman today who cashes a check in professional sports owes a debt of gratitude to the original nine. In 1971, the first year of the tour, there were nine events totaling $300,000. Today, it's 32 events totaling $180 million. The history is a lie. And the more you know about history, the more you know about yourself. And the more you know about yourself helps you to lead and be an influencer. What it does is helps you shape the future. When the original nine launched the Virginia Slim circuit, just one in 27 girls played sports regularly. Now, one in three girls between the ages of six and 12 participate. And that's just one example of how these women shifted the landscape. And Lisa, then in 1972, Billie Jean King turned her focus from the original nine to Title IX. How has Title IX impacted your entire life? Well, I don't know if you saw, but one day on Jeopardy, I was the answer to being a Title IX baby born in 72. And Title IX has allowed me to play professional sports like so many women in our country. And I'm so thankful to Billie Jean King and those nine women because they were able to step up and really put their, their careers on the line for us. They've opened doors. Obviously, we have the WNBA. We have professional tennis, professional soccer, professional women's sports here in our country being celebrated. Really started because of those nine women.